o'clock. You're watching Hawaii News Now with Stephanie Lum and Kayahi Tucker. Well, don't take what your children post on Facebook at face value. Now that adults have infiltrated the site, teens are bolting in search of their own digital hangout. So tonight, Tanya Joaquin tells us how to be social media savvy. This is a world we live in. Constant status updates, tweets, hashtags, virtual social media overload. And 90% of teens are connected whether their parents realize it or not. My daughter is in fifth grade and already some of her friends are on Instagram. I'm not sure their parents are even aware that they're on Instagram. I didn't have the guts to follow my girls on Instagram. I knew they had created Instagram accounts without me knowing. And there was this whole issue with Facebook pages that they created without my knowledge and that got shut down like immediately. Facebook and YouTube are still the most popular platforms for tweens and teens, but dropping in numbers. The hot apps on the rise, Instagram and Snapchat, two places to share photos, and smartphone messaging tool Kick has 50 million users. Snapchat sparked a debate over whether there's such a thing as self-destructing with a digital footprint. Moms in Hawaii helped us gather a mom squad for a crash course on social media savvy. I've already noticed some behavior uh, of theirs that isn't the smartest. And I know they don't know. They're just, you know, innocently using it and not knowing what to look out for. Number one, teach online picture etiquette. Kids may or may not understand that every time they hashtag something, that means anybody can find that picture based on that hashtag. So it's something important for parents to understand as well. Already my niece and nephew, I've noticed they're on Instagram too, and there's been a couple of issues so far. And my sister, their mom is not on Instagram, and so I feel like I'm kind of being the eyes and ears. Be sure to set privacy settings to limit access by strangers and don't reveal personal information. It's super critical for um, parents that have um, kids with Instagram accounts that they keep those accounts private. Social media gives predators a window into your world. Consider this, accused Ohio kidnapper Ariel Castro was very active on Facebook. You should have open dialogue with your children starting when they're young so they can warn you of any inappropriate requests. I talk to them frequently about what's safe. Last but not least, get up to speed on technology trends. If you're a parent and you have uh, children or a child who is on social media, make sure that you yourself uh, are familiar with that particular platform. Get on it, play with it. You kind of have to play with it. There is no, I think, handbook. That's true, there is no handbook, but there is help for a pog. And if you think I'm talking about toys or juice, you still have a lot to learn. That's actually teen code for parent on guard. We can help you up your social media savvy. Just go to our website, hawaiinewsnow.com. Tanya Joaquin, Hawaii News Now. Oh boy, yeah, yeah I did think that was juice. <laughs> I did too. I'm not a parent and I'm, I'm really behind. No, you're, you're a pre-parent on <laughs> yeah. guard. I'm scared. Oh boy.